Hey guys, what's going on? Brutal Tech here, and today I am on the official Castle Clash YouTube channel. I'd like to thank I for letting me to upload on this channel. So let's get so let's get straight into it. So the video we're going to be talking about the Bulwark Crest and its benefits. How good this crest is. And this crest is actually often looked down upon simply because it's not categorized as a mythic crest. It's categorized in the rare category. So many people look it over and don't think it's that good because it's the mythic crest. Everyone wants the purple. It's the purple. But no, that's totally not the case. The Bulwark crest is easily one of the best in the game. And I'll be telling you guys why. So quick a little disclaimer. This is a developer or test account. It is not in much public use and it will be the deleted really soon so if that's why if anything seems wonky that's I mean that's why it's a test account it's not gonna be in public use so anyways guys let's get into it so the bulwark crest this crest as you guys know it, it, it increases your attack and your max hit points in a battle by 20% at level 5 it of course changes from 1 to 5 I'll put a little grafting on the screen to show you guys each level is benefits or each level's percentage so bulwark it is a combination of war god and then it also adds hit points which is a great combination because as you guys know war god increases simply simply just attack and doesn't doesn't do anything else it increases attack and at a level 5 war god it will increase 10 percent more attack than it will on bulwark but bulwark with this extra hit points boost makes it amazing your hero is going to be staying alive a lot longer so let's take a look at this so this is something a lot of people have misconceived if you see this 20 percent right here say it is a 5 5 bulwark and you see this number right here 180 it does not straight up add 20 to that to make it 200 it's going to add 20 percent down here to this attack and you also have to keep in mind the inscription and then it's going to add 20 percent to that which as a result is going to increase this it's not going to increase the number but it is going to increase how much damage is dealt because this is straight branching from the attack so that's really good bulwark is going to not only make your hit points 20 percent more it's going to depending on the hero of course i mean it's going to do this for every hero it's going to boost their hit points it's going to boost their attack and then it is also depending on the hero if they have a damage based proc could boost up their proc to make them do just that much more damage to make it a very very successful hero so there's many heroes this could actually be good on and considering what bulwark does there's not really a hero that bulwark wouldn't be good on bulwark might not be beneficial on every single hero but it's not going to be bad on any hero either it's going to be good no matter who you put it on having an increased attack is always a good thing and having a increased hit points is obviously always a good thing just some heroes benefit more from the separate talent so i want to tell you guys what heroes can definitely benefit from bulwark so this is also kind of going for the talent because as you guys know bulwark is one of the hardest talents to roll because of how because of how good it is so the fact that it actually is a rare crest can be a great help because it's actually going to be easier to obtain than the mythic crest so guys best heroes for bulwark i have to straight up say vlad dracula is one of them vlad is an amazing hero for bulwark because he already does an insane amount of damage and adding that hit points is just going to keep him alive longer and having him do more damage is going to ensure that entire wave for you is dead it's going to be a great benefit i personally run a bulwark crest on my on my vlad on my main account and trust me guys paired with a 5-5 war god and you have a bulwark crest that vlad is strong that vlad is really strong but once again revive as you guys see right there is going to be really good too because revive is going to ensure he comes back to life if he dies which keep in mind it will take harder it'll be it'll be harder for him to die because of the hit points boost and if he does die he'll come back to life so bulwark and revive and bulwark and war god on vlad is a great combination bulwark and revive is really good in general so moving on here to other heroes that could benefit from it and as you see right here santa boom santa boom is a hero is in a, in a very good hero he's one of the best in the game and he tends to die he tends to kill himself he's one of the more yeah, he's one of the people who die most often so putting that bulwark on him a lot of people like to run one uh, i can't talk right now a lot of people like to run war god to increase his boost increase his proc and putting this on him is going to do that and it is also 
going to keep him alive longer, which is going to be a great benefit because he is easily one of the best HBM heroes in the game. So that paired up with a revive on Santa Boom is going to be a really, really good. Borg paired up with revive on Santa Boom or even a life drain is going to be a really good talent. And that's also what I run. Life drain main, Borg second. So, getting into it guys, there's a ton of other heroes who'd benefit, here's just another one, Multanica. Multanica is an insane tank in the game, he runs really great with the life drain, putting a bulwark on him, as it's not on him as a crest right now, but I have a, personally have a bulwark on him on my main, Bulwark is amazing for him because he's going to be doing more damage for that proc, pretty much the same story, it is a damage based proc in some ways, and then it's going to be keeping him alive, making him that much more of a tank, and have, he's going to be allowed to tank, it's going to be harder for him to die, and he's a very beneficial hero in that case because he definitely does not need to die, he definitely should not die because him against the boss in HBM is going to drastically help you out by reducing that damage. So that is just a few heroes that Bulwark is good on. Like I said, he's good on most heroes in general. Just that's some heroes that would benefit him on. Vlad, Santa, Multanica. There's definitely others who would benefit from that. Anyone who's really good with the War God or people would recommend you War God, Bulwark would be the next best thing. Probably the best thing if you can top it. That's just my opinion. I would love a 5-5 Bulwark on my Vlad Dracula. That would be absolutely crazy because he's just such a tank as he is. So guys, now let's go into the modes. What modes is Bulwark best for? Bulwark is going to be best for almost every mode, like I said. Every mode that your heroes are going to be getting attacked or they're going to need to be attacking better. It just, that's pretty much most modes, for the exception of, say, Mesa, where there's going to be a damage cap. The Bulwark may not be a huge help, but the hit points aspect will still help keep your heroes alive in Mesa, Mesa, and it'll still be a great help in general. But my opinion, like I said, it's going to do the same thing in all modes and be beneficial in Lost Realm, keeping your heroes alive, letting them do more damage in raids, doing the same thing. They're going to be knocking out buildings in less procs because they are doing, or not procs, but less hits because they are doing more damage. And the last thing is HBM. HBM, probably one of the best for Bulwark because as you guys know, if you are trying to beat higher HBMs and you're struggling, Bulwark would be a great option simply because Bulwark is going to keep your heroes alive. It's going to help you clear out waves easier by providing more damage dealt and it is going to be keeping your heroes alive a bit longer because of that bulwark, be because of the hit points boost. So guys, like I said, if you could get a perfect combination, it'd have to b depend on the hero. Not one, not every hero is gonna have the best talent and crest bulwark combination. Bulwark crest is one of the best in the game. I would highly recommend using it. Like I said, guys, it is a rare crest. So if you get them, crest them, forge them, make them better, not forge them, but upgrade them, get them as high as you can because it's definitely going to change your game and you're going to notice it. It's a great hero in general and combination depends on the hero. If your hero dies more often, put that on him, smack a revive on him, he's good, he's going to stay alive and he is really going to benefit and he's going to be doing great damage. But guys, that is that. Hope you guys could benefit from this information. I personally love the Bulwark Crest. It's easily one of the best in the game and I would highly recommend if you guys aren't using it already that you guys use it. So once again, guys, this was Brutal Tech and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and like always, I will see you guys on my channel if you subscribe. Peace.